this tension A feeling I never was expecting Good morning guys So I'm about to take this dog that we found Well we didn't find him, my boyfriend's friend did Brought him here um, Because his friend is staying here with us And this dog was just chilling at a construction site. His friend was like, oh, I see him there every day. I figured I'd bring him home and like, I don't know, maybe we could take him to like a no-kill shelter, which is great. We called a bunch, no room. Mind you, this is Austin, Texas. There are so many stray dogs in our neighborhood. So we initially told him like, why would you pick him up? Like we, we already have four dogs. Like another one is Catastrophe. He initially wanted to keep the dog and my boyfriend was like, um, no like we have enough dogs we don't even have enough time for our dogs already our dogs don't even have enough space so it's kind of like it's a little frustrating because like we've had him for two weeks already he is a he's a pit boxer mix and initially he had a girlfriend that was gonna take it my my boyfriend's friend uh, she was gonna take it until she told her apartment that he was part pit and if you know about dogs, pits get really bad reps. Mind you, I have three pits, mixes, all very sweet. But at the end of the day, a dog is a dog. Um, So she did them taking him. Guys, I love this ice by Rihanna. It literally is super minty. And I think I just got it because it looked good. I hardly wear it. And if I do, I wear it on top of another um, liner situation or maybe a matte lip because it's so thick. Anyway. That's besides the point. So yeah, he brought the dog home and he's been with us for two weeks now. And the worst part is he doesn't get along with the other dogs. You know? So that's a problem. So we keep them separate, which is kind of hard to do because once I start working full time, my boyfriend already works, his friend works. So it's kind of like, where's the time to train this dog? This dog is eight months. Took him to the vet after like six days because we were like, okay, if we're going to keep him, we have to know what he if he has any you know worms or disease or anything they said he was good it seems like he came from a really good family they just didn't want him and probably threw him from the side so we got him shots uh we got him like the worm medication as well as um the heartworm preventative and he's a little shit he's he's cute he's super cute i've never seen a boxer pit mix and he, they said he's gonna stay the size he is he's really small so when he said that, I was like, ooh, maybe we should keep him. Because all of our dogs are big. I love big dogs. I just do. Small dogs kind of freak me out. I don't want to step on you. Um, but I'm about to go take him for a walk. If anybody's interested in a dog, pit boxer mix, eight months old, probably going on nine now. I don't know how long we're going to keep him. But I'll show you guys a little video of him. He's a menace. I, I just don't think I can physically, mentally handle another puppy like dolly is our youngest dog and she's only a year and maybe like four months that was a struggle having my my dog azul the brown dog was a struggle as a oh my god there was so many times i was going to give him up i i kid you not i was like no i have to learn i'm going to persevere until this day i still don't have a lot of patience for all four of them like <laughs> it's hard it is hard like if we lived on a farm or something i don't think i'd be tripping but in a house Ay, Dios mío. It's a mess, but I don't know. I don't want to say I have a feeling that we're going to keep this dog because, like I said, I'm just not mentally prepared for that. But he's so cute. We haven't named him. The vet was like, if you name him, you have to keep him. And they took, when my boyfriend took him in to get shots, he was like, so what's his name? And he was like, call him dog. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> call him dog because I don't want to name him. He's like, call him dog or call him boxer. And I was like, fuck. I like the name Boxer. So I'm trying not to call him Boxer, but slowly but surely I am getting attached. And um, I don't like that for me. So I, even though this is a mess, I'm indoors today. I'm in the house. I'm not getting dressed for anything in particular. I'm just trying to look decent on my walk. And sometimes when I dress up and kind of put liner and um, eyes uh, and put mascara on, I just feel better about my day. I feel good. That way, every time I pass a mirror, I'm like, ooh. Girl, you're cute. You know what I mean? Come on, Menace. Right here. Right here. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so he has a gentle leader on because look how wild he is. Okay. But I do try to walk him 
once a day just for him to kind of, you know, calm down, get used to being around all of us. But, like, he doesn't trust a lot of people. I mean, he hasn't bitten any of us yet. <laughs> yeah, we have way too much stuff on him right now. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, that's Zila. And this is Dolly. I do my two to three rounds of walking the dogs in the morning, which is great for me and obviously great for them. And it's raining. All right. Good, Sammy. We have Sully. Hey, yeah, Sully. Come here, sweet girl. Doll, baby. <laughs> Zila. And we got the little mace princess, Zila. Come here. Come here, girl. I feel like I don't even care anymore. I've finally hit the stage of like, I can never have nice things because I have too many dogs. Or, I don't know, like, I, I've... I think I've come to terms with that. Like, <laughs> look, I love dogs, but like having this many, I, I never planned. I never planned to have this many. Once you take one in, and then you take two, then three is a fucking crowd. And then all of a sudden you got four and five and six, and you're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. See, I really want to play music in the background, but ow, I feel like I will get copyrighted. But I'm going to the movies with one of my really, really good friends. Her name's Hannah. You know a friend that just understands you, she gets you, you see eye to eye, it's kind of like your twin flame, you guys can finish each other's sentences, you're already thinking the same thing, that's Hannah. Love her, I don't have a lot of friends like that, so I hang out with her as much as I can, and even while I'm networking, I'm still making friends and whatnot, but I will say she's one of my favorite people to hang out with. So we are going to see Creed 3. I've already seen one and two. It's been a really long time and I even thought about watching one and two today before this lighting is okay, yeah, watching one and two today before going. But I was like, nah, I think I remember enough. And I just didn't really feel like doing that. After we're done, we're, I'm going to the salsa night with my boyfriend. It's gonna be our first time going. He's scared. Not because I know how to bachata and salsa and a little bit of cumbia. I used to work at this Mexican restaurant for like five years. And we always danced, so that's how I learned. I'm... Oh my god. <laughs> Zila. God, she just licks her paws for like 30 minutes straight. It's ridiculous. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of the dances. But like I told myself that I really want to start going dancing once a week. Because I just really love to dance. I did... Um, ballet, cheerleading, I was in a dance group, like I just love anything with flowing movement. So I told my boyfriend, I was like, we gotta be going once a week, like one, we'll get our bodies moving, two, we're trying something new, something fun, three, we're learning a new dance, at least for him. But like, I really enjoy the dance, so that's why we're gonna get. But it's free on Wednesdays, it's at this place called Halcyon um, in Austin, Halcyon, I think it's a coffee shop, but at night it's turns into like a, I don't know I've never been before I just looked it up and it's free to get in from seven to eight they teach you how to dance they do like a salsa lesson for beginners and then from eight to twelve you know it's kind of like free game we're gonna go see the movie first 650 right now it is 5 30 and I think I have a 30 minute drive so I really only have 30 minutes to do my makeup I thought I was gonna be able to do like a get ready with me, but honey, I don't think that's gonna happen. 
I'm already taking forever and this lighting is throwing me off. I did a setting, kind of a new setting on my phone and I like it, but like you see that, I don't even know if that's realistic. No, that's not me. Is that me? Cause your girl's glowing if that's me, hold on. Okay, that looks a little bit better. If you guys can tell the difference. I just put down the brightness a little bit. She was bright. For what? But, um, yes, I'm wearing my little wig today. I'm gonna try and lay her as best as I can. Don't look at that. <laughs> Let me finish this makeup and then we'll talk later. Okay. No, I can't fake it now or never. And you will send you way too much. You think we might be better. Better me and you. All right, guys, we just left the movie and it was actually really good. I'm not gonna lie, didn't really expect it to be that good. Um, again, we saw Creed 3 and yeah, it was pretty good. I saw my friend Hannah, love her. We try to hang out at least once a week, um, especially when she's off because she works a lot, but in 12 hour days. And I'm currently not working, so I actually start work next uh, month, but that's a whole nother story. But yeah, it was a good time. Okay, I'm back home. We didn't go dancing. Tears, but I guess it's fine. Um, we're gonna try again for next week. Okay, I'm headed to go get brunch with one of my friends. I'm so salty. I took off all my makeup. I went to church today. Took off all my makeup. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna redo it because I'm not, I used the new product that I wasn't, which in the past I told myself I didn't like, but I don't know why today I decided to like help it redeem itself. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna redo my makeup again, it'll be fine. I didn't even bring, as I was saying, I basically took off my makeup and I was like, oh, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even bring half of my makeup. And so I kind of look, I feel like I look basic. I don't even have concealer on. My sister was like, oh my God, use this concealer. We have the same concealer, but in different shades. She's slightly, <laughs> I don't want to say orange. She's just slightly more tan than I am. And so like her concealer is, I mean, has done nothing for me. I'm not glowing. I'm trying to be bright like a diamond. And um, I just feel very basic today, which is, I mean, it's okay. Um, we're doing a little Sunday fun day with one of my friends. I used to work with her so long ago. We both just kind of ventured off into tech, her more so than me, but um, yeah, we're gonna have brunch today. We had brunch, I think like a month ago and that was fun, it was a good time. So we're kind of like doing it again and I'm excited because we do always have a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna see if she has some concealer because I'm feeling very, like if you look at my makeup from obviously the last video or even the TikTok that I posted, it's not giving that. Like it's the same foundation, it's the e.l.f. And I notice my MAC foundation tends to change colors during the day. So I kind of stopped wearing it. I'm really feeling the, the MAC. Um, I mean, I'm really feeling the elf, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm so late. I hope she doesn't hate me. I was supposed to be there like at 12-ish. I told her to, it's fucking 1.45. Okay, my friend is...
my god, y'all, it's been a long night, and um, I'm at Whataburger. <laughs> I just, oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that food is needed. <laughs> Is it too much to